fill up time so we would talk. And um, as we had more songs, we had to start to decide how much we could talk and how much we could play. Exactly, and then people started to come up and say things after shows like, they would say, oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Or they would say, oh, and you banter, it's so funny and cute. One time we met, at the time she was a big pop star. She was really, this was, this was 15 years ago. You don't have to say that about me. Banter is old as shit, she had another career. <laughs> it was cool though, my mom made her start another band with me. Get to it, get to it. Don't rush me. Okay. That is what banter is, P.S. That's what that was actually just an exercise. Anyways, we were we did a couple of shows with this pop star. She was really big and we really liked her and we were we were about 20 years old and we someone came as as this this tends to happen even when we're open when when someone is opening for us. We always act this way, but we were like, could we meet? Let's just call her Big Bird. We're like, could we meet Big Bird? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, we'll bring you in and we'll, we'll have you guys meet her. And so we get escorted. You know, we were actually in a foreign country. I can't tell you because you'll. This you. story is hella confusing. Right? <laughs> okay, so we're in a foreign country, but I can't tell you where, with an artist whose name is Big Bird. And we are the opener and we're 20. Okay, there, fuck. It's all the details lined up, right? So anyways, we uh, get taken back into this person's room, and then uh, she says, uh, we're like, hi, we're Tegan and Sarah, and she's like, you guys are that funny band. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with being funny, and there's nothing wrong with being a funny band, but at the time, I felt like we were the opposite of funny. Like, our funny was sort of like sadness, but like, where you, where you, where you laugh because you're crying all the time. In fact, I, I was like, saying, friend up here. I was just saying, yeah, I mean, totally in mad respect because I feel like the first 10 years of our lives in the music industry, all of our albums, like, really listen back to them, but they all sound like we're crying, all the songs. And in a lot of cases, deal out of our production changing or oh you're a pop band now or whatever but the truth is the only thing that's really changed besides getting better and being better at the things that we do is that we just don't cry that much when we're making this music. And